Welcome to the overview of the LifeX Control Stream Deck plugin. This plugin allows you to control your LifeX devices from a Stream Deck plugin simply by pressing buttons. So let's install it and take a quick look at what this offers. So we can see that there are a bunch of different actions that it creates from turning it on, toggling the power, setting a color, setting the brightness, and setting a waveform. So we'll take a quick look at each of these uh, in today's video. As you can see on the right, my, my device is currently turned on. So let's turn that off quickly. We have two options. We can either use the off directly or we could use a toggle. I'm going to quickly turn it off, let's say over 500 milliseconds. And we can see that it just turned off when I click the button. Now, alternatively, I could use the toggle, select the device, say 500 milliseconds again. We can see it turned on and then it turned off, as opposed to if I keep on clicking the off button, well, it's not going to toggle. The reason for the different options is because maybe you don't want to be able to turn off a device midstream, so you want explicitly to turn on, or you want to be able to toggle devices. You can also set a color. So I'm going to select the beam and I'm going to actually grab its current settings and while I, while I turn it back on, so this will be more obvious. So we can see its hue is 88, so roughly 90, which is green um, based on the LifeX application. And its saturation is zero, which means that it's got no, no color pigment in the light. So it's white in our case. We're using 5,000 Kelvin and a brightness of 100. So we're gonna set the transition time to 500 milliseconds and we're going to actually just make it green. So now if I click this, we see we have the beam selected. The light goes green over a quick, quick, nice transition. So I set this back down to zero and it'll go back to white. So you could have different buttons for different colors. You could also use this in conjunction with a multi-action. So I'm going to turn my device off currently. And we're going to first set the LifeX color because it is still technically running. It's just the light is not on. We will grab its settings. I'm going to set saturation to 100, which means green. I'm not going to have a transition here and I will set the power on next. So select the beam as well, which I believe I did there. Yep. I'm going to say over 500 milliseconds. So now if I hit this multi-action, we'll see it, it'll turn green and then it'll turn the light on. So we can see it comes on green as opposed to white like it was before. You can also set the brightness directly. So while in the color settings, we do have the brightness, independent of the color settings, you can adjust the brightness. So if for some reason you want to just turn down the brightness um, at certain points in your stream, you can come in, you can have a button set up where you set the brightness to a specific color or a specific value um, between zero and 100%. And you can just hit that button and we can see it goes dimmer to 50%. Can bring it back up to 100 hit the button and it comes back up. Waveforms are interesting. So it allows you to basically do some animations within your light. So I'm going to select my beam, grab the settings. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it flat, basically roll between uh, green and white. So I'm going to have it be a sine wave. You have a few different options here. I'm going to have it run for one second and it's going to run five times. Um, so if I click this, we will see on the right here that my light is going between green and white. So those are all the different pieces. This is all developed on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash wwshawn08. So feel free to stop by. Also, you, if you want, this is all open source on GitLab. So feel free to go look at the code, make issues and uh, yeah. Thank you for stopping by.